Well, hello everyone. I'm back out here in Berea in the aftermath of that very disappointing 23-7 loss to the Texans. Now, there was some really good news out here today and some really bad news. I'm going to start with the bad news so I can leave you on a better note. Uh, for starters, Carlos Dansby and Jabal Sheard will both miss significant time with injuries suffered in that game. Dansby suffered a knee injury. He will be out upwards of a month, according to Coach Mike Pettin. And Jabal Sheard, he's likely gone for the year uh, with a foot injury. Now, Jabal, is, his contract is up after this season, so it remains to be seen if he'll actually uh, play some more football for the Browns. But I'm sure he's hoping, and the Browns are too, that he can get this injury resolved and get back on the football field for them. Now for the good news. Josh Gordon is back off of his 10-game suspension. We actually saw him in the locker room today. He gave us a little nod and a wave, and uh, he looked good and healthy and ready to go. He won't be back out on the practice field until Wednesday, however, and he won't talk to us until then. But Brian Hoyer had plenty to say about Josh Gordon today. He said, look, let's not expect him to come in here and be the savior of this football team in the final six games. He's been out of football uh, since August. Mike Pettin, he echoed those sentiments. He said it will be a process with getting ba Josh back in there, and we will be smart about it. So it remains to be seen how much he will actually play Sunday in Atlanta, but I can tell you this, offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan is very excited to have him back. And that's it from Brown's practice in Berea.